The etiquette of mask wearing can be awkward, but soon there could be clear guidelines for the workplace. The state's work safety agency is meeting right now and plans to vote on new rules today. KPIX 5's Emily Turner has been listening in. We all know the awkward etiquette and have had that conversation. Do I wear my mask? Do I not wear it? Do we talk about vaccination rates and how far away do I stand from someone? Well, Cal OSHA, the state's governing body when it comes to workplace safety, is trying to come up with answers for you. They've been the mandatory accessory of the last year, but now masks are making an exit as COVID-19 case rates fall and vaccination rates are up. We are astonished that the changes proposed on May 28th are not limited to new CDC guidance. Today, Cal OSHA is expected to vote on new sweeping changes to rules around masking, social distancing, testing, and notification of workers potentially exposed to the virus at work. The rules have a lot of caveats, but when it comes to masks, the proposed changes say employers must provide masks and make sure they're worn inside and worn outside if closer than six feet. The only exception is if everyone is vaccinated, something businesses would have to keep track of. I don't know how you would ensure that everybody is vaccinated. How would you do that? I think that would be a lot of work. Social distancing stays in place until July 31st, but would continue with those who can't mask and are unvaccinated, especially for mega events. These changes, if passed, would align state rules with those for healthcare workers and protecting them from airborne diseases. But they're already being met with mixed response from the public. I think they should keep masks on for a while. And why is that? Just because I think this is real and I don't think it's over. You know, I think if people just kind of keep their distance and, you know, be careful and just wash their hands and stuff, I think we, sh we should all be fine. That meeting obviously is still going on. The last time they discussed it, it lasted five hours. There is a big push amongst different agencies to delay the vote on whether or not to enact these new restrictions based on creating two classes of people, vaccinated or unvaccinated, and also confusion between different rules and different state agencies. Stick with us to bring you the very latest on what happens. In the North Bay, Emily Turner, KPIX 5.